Wobblyware brings us the second installment to their Devious Dungeon series to the Nintendo Switch. Wobblyware fans will be very familiar with the art style and combat. I recommend the pixel platformer be played in handheld mode based on the graphic style. Choose one of three character classes which consists of Barbarian, Mage, and Rogue. Each class is defined by different levels of damage, health, and critical percentage. I prefer the tank so my character is the Barbarian. The goal in each level is simple, find the key to unlock the exit door. Your play screen shows health, money, and an experience gauge. Leveling up is the highlight for me in this game. It's a constant goal to kill as many bad guys as possible to fill that meter and boom, progress. Each level earned will give the option to increase damage, health, or critical percentage. I upgraded the damage every time to decrease my time spent being attacked. The controls are kind of wonky in that it feels a bit slow. It has a mobile game feel rather than a console. It doesn't hinder gameplay and fits the visual style of Devi's Dungeon 2, so no worries really. Find treasures to get a quick boost in your wallet, otherwise destroy every object in sight to uncover a buck or two. The pause menu will show objectives, such as quests to complete such as slay 5 boards, find a healing potion, and smash 10 carts. Quests completed will yield coin, which is nice. It will also show a wanted list of enemies to defeat per level. Lastly is the treasure list, which shows blacked out treasure to find that will appear once found. Use all that coin at Olaf's cart to purchase weapons, armor, potions, and trinkets. Secrets are cool, and they can be found behind a wall, so I have to check every single wall, sliding down from top of an area all the way to the bottom. There is no level select until you die, so get all the goods before exiting. Following every death, your character will be resurrected back into town with a gold bonus, where you can use the shop before returning into the action. The search movement in the shop is so slow, moving up and down to read costs and traits is cumbersome. You also have the chance to pay 50 gold to a priest for full health before getting back to work. The castle map shows 6 different areas that include 4 levels and a boss each. Fall to your enemy's blade and you will restart from the beginning of your respective area. Die enough times and you will want to replay previous areas to boost experience and fatten the coin pouch. The hack and hack combat gets boring quickly. I would have preferred to play this on my phone honestly. If you can't kill the enemy on your first few swings you must run back and forth away from their attack to avoid taking a hit. Repeat. Most hitboxes were spot on, but I had troubles jumping on and around the rotating sword boxes. Keys must be picked up while standing on the same platform. You can't jump from a platform below to obtain it. Final words, whether you're a Ravenous Games or Wobblyware fan, Devious Dungeon 2 will feel and look familiar. The simple pixel platformer didn't keep me interested, but it's a decent pick up and play game for short bursts if you know what I mean. By the end I was more ready for the game to be over. There are a ton of levels with repetitive gameplay that didn't keep me coming back. Sorry to say I wouldn't recommend this one. The dev is more than skilled enough to make a more interesting game at this point, and I know it will come in due time. Thanks for watching, let me know what you thought of this game. Subscribe if you like, and we'll see you next time.